Yes. yes, first of all, we really thank you about the rest of the uh, situation that the uh, Israel government after the uh, tragedy. What was your first reaction to the ship raid that Israel military did? Well, with the help of the Almighty, we are coming as representatives of Jews true to the Torah, true to Judaism from around the world, uh, from the U.S. We're a delegation from Canada, from originally from Palestine. Uh, Rabbi Shavanta. Yeah. And the point is that it has uh, been as a knife stab in our hearts. Uh, this is again just one more, uh, one more tragedy, one more link in a long chain of tragedies since the state of Israel was ratified since Zionism came up to Palestine. You were very active since the beginning of the whole tragedy. Uh, some rebels in Washington visit our uh, embassy to pay condolences. And uh, now you are here first in the uh, big Charlie Am meeting. After that, uh, you are uh, yesterday at the hospitals. Uh, what's your main goal? Uh, why are you in Turkey right now? Well, Turkey is the perfect example of a Muslim country that and a Muslim and Arab country that has always befriended Jews and been exemplary hosts for the Jewish people and to show that this has nothing to do with religion. This is not a religious conflict. Yeah. Hundreds of years we've lived together without the United Nations or human rights groups to protect us. This has nothing with religion. That is a, a ploy, a false portrayal of the state of Israel and Zionism to legitimize what they're doing and to gain green support from the world for their existence. Yeah, okay. Uh, people here in Turkey uh, trying to understand the difference between uh, your movement and uh, its contradiction with Israel government. Uh, can you describe it to our followers? Uh, with the help of the Almighty, we will try. Judaism is a religion, a, uh, a spirituality to serve God thousands of years old. Zionism is only around 100 years old. It is the transformation from religion to nationalism, to materialism created by non-religious Jews who hated the religion. And they really want, didn't want with Judaism. They didn't even want to make their state in Palestine, only in Uganda at the first meetings. The yeah. reason they used the, the name Israel, the Star of David, hijacking, stealing the identity of Judaism and the Jewish people is in order to, uh, to get a legitimacy for their existence, that people should say, oh, God gave, it's God given to them, and that they should put fear and intimidate people from speaking up against their actions because they'll call them anti-Semitic. Yeah. There couldn't be anything further from the truth. As I say, the best friends of the Jewish people is Turkey. The, uh, the best friends of the Jewish people is all the Muslim countries who've helped the Jews all the time when they ran away from their problems in other lands. So how could you say this? It's something totally different. It's a political, selfish, flawed movement called Zionism that has no legitimacy to exist. It's against the Torah. Maybe just say one thing. It's against the Torah in, the, in, in its essence. The concept for Jews to have a state is yeah. expressly forbidden in the Torah, in the Jewish teaching, since the destruction of the temple 2,000 years ago. We were told by the Almighty in a, uh, uh, in a prophecy of King Solomon and that we are forbidden to have our own entity, our own state, our own kingdom, um, even in an uninhabited land. And this was held by all Jews around the world for thousands of years. And it's, it makes it worse, compounds the sin, the, the crime in having the state because this state of Israel that these nationalists wanted, made it in Palestine, made it in a land that was inhabited by the majority Muslim people, by the Palestinian people. So to steal their land, to kill, to oppress, to banish them from the homes, it flies in the face and contradicts everything of the Torah that says thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, that one has to emulate God, be compassionate. So they've used our identity to rebel against God and uh, to, de to, de de uh, to desecrate God's name and to create a rift between Jews and Muslims and to make a river, an endless river of blood for the Muslims, for the Palestinian people, yeah. and anti-Semitism for the Jews and death for the Jews also. This is uh, unfathomable and unacceptable in no manner. Is it true that you are against the uh, whole concept of Israel as a state? That is not only 
when you say I am, this means the Jews who are true to the Torah, across the board, in every part of the world, all the rabbinical authorities opposed Zionism from day one. As soon as they came up with the concept, uh, the chief rabbis, we have documents, historic documents, the chief rabbi of historical Palestine, documents, yeah. historical documents, um, the chief rabbi of Palestine was approached by the United Nations in 1947, and he wrote, we furthermore wish to express our definite opp opposition to a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. And this was in 1947, July, and then three months later they saw that they're, not being, they're being ignored by the United Nations. Yeah. And so he sent another letter to the, uh, to the Secretary General in Lake Success, and he said, we plead with you, at least leave us to the Secretary General, the Jewish Orthodox community comprising 60,000 souls in Jerusalem, objects to the plea of including Jerusalem in the Jewish state that they want to create. Our community demands that Jerusalem be an international zone under your protection and its residents be free citizens of the international zone. And so they said, at least leave us this path. And they were ignored till today. Jews demonstrate, and I think it's important to see, Jews demonstrate and they're getting constantly, till today, they, they made demonstrations and they're getting beaten by the Zionist police. People can see this is an ongoing um, um, people being beaten by the demonstrations. We have many um, on NKUSA, you can see the, uh, the ongoing beating of, uh, by the Zionist police because they demonstrate against the yeah. state and because they demonstrate against the states um, uh, willfully ignoring uh, the laws of the Torah. They dig up graves. To, they want a highway, they dig up graves. It doesn't bother. It's against the God, against the holiness of the soul. The Muslim countries, they don't do that. Muslim countries respect the Jewish graves. They dig up graves now of, of thousands of years old and, and because they don't believe in the soul, they don't believe in God. Yeah. And, and they, they, they, what they're doing to the people in Gaza and Palestine is because they take, they've taken God out of the equation. They are ready to sacrifice on the altar of Zionism to attain their goal of the land, anything that stands in the way. So the Jewish people's souls are snatched, they con people into supporting them, and they're doing what they're doing, the, the Nakba, to the people of Gaza and Palestine. We sent a delegation of rabbis to Palestine, to Gaza, just this summer we went there. We brought them aid and we embraced them and said, our hearts are with you, we feel your suffering. This is against God, against the Torah, and against the will of the Jewish people who are true to God. We pray for speedy and peaceful dismantlement of this, uh, of this impediment to peace, the state of Israel that has no legitimacy, that has caused the rift between religions, between our peoples. And lastly, uh, what do you think about these days? What do you think will happen from this day uh, and on? Uh, do you think Turkish government has taken the uh, right steps? Turkish government is phenomenal. I've seen that they constantly, wherever gone, that they said that they're clear in speaking that this is not to do with our uh, uh, coexistence with Jews. They, they're very clear not to fall into the trap of Zionism, to refer it as Jews or Jewish state or the, the Jews. They understand to, to differentiate and separate that this is a evil actions that they're doing. They don't come out maybe and say that it's Ill illegitimate the state because they, they don't have that maybe knowledge of what the rabbinical authorities throughout the world. We have to go take that step further to tell them, to encourage them that don't be fearful. It is an illegitimate state just like the apartheid in South Africa was stopped by the grassroots and they put pressure on the politicians around the world. They said you can't go out like this. It's wrong. It's racist. We have to know that don't be fearful to stop the state because it is the impediment to peace. It's new. No, it's only a hundred years. We were able to coexist. History attests that we have no religious problem. So think yeah. logically. If this is what impedes the peace, this, this is what was introduced to the equation. The foreign object that was introduced and now we're having trouble. Go back to when we didn't have trouble. Just remove this. Then we can coexist. And so we urge people to pray for the speedy and peaceful dismantlement of the state. And we must emulate God. We must uh, plead with the nations to do for the people of Gaza and assist them immediately and eventually, ultimately, a free Gaza, free Palestine. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you for much. all.
Evet sevgili izleyiciler gördüğünüz Hasidik Yahudileri oldukça önemli açıklamalar yaptı. Bizlerle Türkiye'nin son durumunu, Türkiye'nin bu konuyla İsrail'in gemi baskınıyla alakalı bugünlerde attıkları adımları konuştu. Kendilerinin neden İsrail devletini tanımadıklarını ve neden birbiriyle bir ayrıntıya düştüklerini konuştuk. Kendileri gemi baskınından sonra ilk reaksiyon olarak neleri verdiler, sonrasında neler düşündüler, Müslümanlarla aralarındaki ilişkilerden bahsettiler, oldukça önemli konulara değindiler.